Stay calm, orders this Taliban guard. There's no calm here, not in a crowd too big to count, too big to control. But the days are numbered now, before the US pulls its soldiers from this airfield, before their last evacuation flight lifts off. Panic is rising. Most Afghans have waited here for days, including four-year-old twins, Usna and Usnia. Their father was a guard for the US military. They've got documents to prove it. It's been such a bad experience, their mother Amina says. So bad. My children have been so scared. We're meant to leave. You can feel the fear. It's not just the kids. Wahidi Faizi, an Afghan journalist, believes she's not safe under Taliban rule. They know I'm a journalist. If they know, I know they will kill me. One day you will come back to Afghanistan. Never. Never. It's not my country. After this, it's not my country. This is the moment, these are the last moments for Afghans who feel not only are they leaving their country, they're losing it, leaving everything behind. This is a journey like no other, the most important journey they're probably going to make in their lives. And it's a journey so fraught with risk and fear. Wahidi Faizi in her red headscarf keeps pushing forward. On this side, British soldiers glance at papers. They stand guard, doing what they can to contain the chaos along with U.S. troops. These Americans are inexperienced. They ask the people to come in a very short time. They make this rush of people. This is the mismanagement of the Americans and nothing else. In the center of the city, Behind another gate, another place of hardship and heartache. Families displaced by fighting. They're on the move too. Now that the Taliban have taken control, they're boarding buses to take them back to Kunduz in the north. Satar was injured in a gunfight there. Yes, I want to go back home. We don't even have food here, and I haven't been able to get treatment for my arm. A nation wounded by war, a people pushed from their homes. Afghanistan's long conflict turns another corner. No one's sure yet where it will lead.